A lot of you guys have reached out asking if Atlas Headrest has provided any updates regarding the Embody Headrest. And I'm happy to say this week they just reached out with pictures, so it's super exciting. But before we talk about that, Atlas Headrest also confirmed that the Mira 1 slash Mira 2 Headrest should be coming out either at the end of this year or the beginning of next year. So make sure you guys get subscribed because I'll be doing a review of that headrest based on renders. There should be a whole bunch of colors, so that's super exciting. Make sure you guys use my link and code down below for $5 off any headrest, including the current an Aeron headrest or the mirror or the Embody headrest when they drop. Some of you guys have mentioned that you're gonna hold off on buying a Herman Miller chair until the headrest for that chair gets released, and I totally respect that. However, I just wanted to let folks know that Herman Miller is currently running a 15% off site-wide sale. You guys can find the links down below and use the code THANKYOU15. If you use my links down below, that really helps this channel, and I'd really appreciate it. So Atlas Headrest now has a nearly finished prototype. And what that means, it's 100% functional and it looks almost the way it's gonna look in the final product, but they still have a few iterations and things are prone to change. I'm gonna go ahead and display some images here. But if you guys wanna see more, make sure you guys follow my page over at Instagram at Stay Honest. I'll be posting basically all the pictures that they sent me. Okay, so I'm gonna bring my notes over here. You're gonna see that the pixel part is gray. Again, gray is just easier to work with. Again, the final product is going to match the chair with the gaming embodies with 100% certainty, the gaming bodies are gonna get a matching headrest, a one-to-one -one matching headrest. They said that the headrest is insanely comfortable. I know they're a little biased because it's their company, but I believe them. Every headrest I have from Atlas has been nothing short of amazing. And they said that there's been an unexpected benefit, but it only applies to you freaks of nature at six feet or taller. They said that at the lowest position, the headrest actually at <laughs> the lowest position, the Atlas headrest actually provides really great shoulder support because the embody, the back of it, it can't, terminates for me being five foot six at my shoulder blade. So you can imagine if you're taller, you're not gonna get a ton of shoulder support. So yeah, they said if you want, you can put it all the way down and give you shoulder support or raise it up and give you traditional neck or head support. You can use it however you want. He, he specified you can use it however you want. They said that right now the headrest will extend 19 inches, which is a huge amount of range. And they said that they believe they engineered it properly so that there's no risk of breaking it. So that if you were to extend it fully and then grab it and pull it, it's not gonna snap off or break your chair. Now again, things are prone to change, but the way that they said that they're adjusting it right now, the way you control it right now is there's gonna be a button in which you adjust gross adjustments. So if you need to move it from like the bottom all the way to the top, you can use the button. But then after that, once you got it in your general range, they're gonna have it friction based, which is really cool. This way you get that fine tuning using friction instead of holding a button, like being uncomfortable and moving it around. So I love that design. Now in terms of timeline, they are still eight to 11 months out, but they are making progress. I believe that your guys' comments really did help push them and say, hey, we gotta, we gotta pay attention to this thing seriously because when I talked to them before, they just said, hopefully before 2023. But now we are on an eight to 11 month schedule. So good job guys, way to go. Keep showing your love and support for Atlas Headrest and the Embody Headrest specifically in the comments below. Now, they confirmed that they are a couple iterations away from sending me a prototype. So make sure you guys get subscribed here because I will be showcasing that here on this channel. And that's pretty much it. So hope that was a good update for you guys. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll try to pass them along. Some of you guys have mentioned about like, hey, how come they don't do a mailing list? Or how come they don't do a sign up sheet or a pre-order? I don't have the answer to that question, but all I can say is that these guys are enthusiasts, which means they are all about the product, which means marketing and things like that. You guys know some of these companies that are much more heavy marketing, and then they deliver a subpar product. You know with Atlas Headrest, if you have an Atlas Headrest right now, that that's not the case for these guys. So yeah, all those are great ideas. I don't know if they're gonna implement them. All I know is that when we get the product, it's gonna kick ass. So that's gonna be it for this one, guys. Until next time, stay safe, and as always, stay honest.